For this particular tutorial, we're going to show you how to assign a district assessment to your class once you've set up your class in Pivot. We have set up an algebra class for period two, so what we're going to do is make sure we're logged back in Pivot and we're going to be on the daily ass assessments module. You always can get back to your classes by selecting classes underneath the daily assessments module. It'll give you a clear list of all the classes that you have set up. Now we have only set up period two at this point, so I'm going to click on my period two class. It gives me access to my class code, which I'll need to get to my students to enroll them. But at this time, I'm going to copy a shared assessment for my period two class. A dialog box pops up and it gives you the option to search and add any shared assessment that's in the system. My algebra two assessment is called uh, checkpoint so I'm gonna type in check and filter out and I see clearly here that the algebra 2 checkpoint 1a is there available for me to add to that class I add this assessment to that class by clicking the add link on the right hand side once I click add it gives me some information to be a little bit more specific as how I'm assigning this assessment you see very clearly that I can, the, the assessment's already named for me. I'm clearly adding this to my class, Algebra 2, Period 2. I can select the date range that it's available. For this example, I'm going to give it a very limited window to protect the test security. I'm going to give it the window of uh, Tuesday, August 5th from 8.15 a.m to Tuesday August 15th the assessment window will close at let's say 9 a.m. this assessment will only be available to students during that available date range and students will not be able to access or take that assessment any other time I'm going to list no time limit but another important facet that I need to know is that I need to make sure I click shared assessment to no you do not want this assessment shared back in the resource bank because this is for your class specifically. So make sure you click change that dialog box to no. Once I do that, I need to click update assessment. It will tell me that it's updated and my assessment has now been assigned to my period two class. So I'm now logged back in as the teacher. You'll see the first thing the teacher sees is that the student has made a request to enroll into a class. The teacher will have to accept that enrollment so the student will be able to start taking assessments in the class. Again, this is a one-time responsibility that once enrolled in a class, the students will not need to be re-enrolled for every assessment period. Again, the easiest way to access all classes is to be in daily assessments and click on the assessment or the classes tab underneath. You'll see my all my classes show up. If I click on my class, it gives me an overview of everything here. If I click on students, you'll see all students who have requested enrollment will be listed in this section. You simply click enroll, and that student is now enrolled into classes and will start to be able to take assessments once the assessment window opens.